to step there. Mr. Luke, I mean, I'm sorry, Kathy. Please be seated. Six in Atlanta. You know, half a day drive. Um, anyway, I know that one of you uh, is leaving on Tuesday um, and returning the 22nd, returning on the 27th, and we're going to accommodate that. So y'all do good Thanksgiving. Alrighty, let's proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> now, uh, Detective Sider, we, we just watched the, the video interview with. Um, about how long after uh, the defendant was to have pulled into the shopping center at Acres Mill and pulled his child out of the car, did that tape, how, how long after that did that tape begin? About an hour and a half, okay. less than two hours. Now, uh, during that video, did you see uh, the defendant early on before you even started interviewing? Do you, do you remember frisking him? Yes. Do you remember taking certain things out of his pockets? That's correct. Okay. Um, was there anything that you saw on video that he did with any of those items uh, that were laying on the table? Yes, I saw him pick up an item from the table and throw it into the trash. Okay. Was that something that you, uh, you guys uh, retrieved? Yes. And what was that? It was a public receipt for that day. Okay. And was this before you talked to him about his timeline of events that day and where he had gone? That is correct. Okay. Now, after that video ends, what did you do? Uh, where did the defendant go? It was after we talked about his timeline. Okay. Um, we, we he had thrown it away before. Okay, yeah, let me clarify. Did he throw yes. it away before or after? Before. Okay. Did you guys retrieve it before or after? After. Now, after the uh, you, you guys ended the interview, uh, where did you take him? After the interview, he was taken to a holding cell. Um, you've seen it on TV. They're just two cells, very plain, um, that we keep in the back of the homicide unit. <coughs> And while he was in there, uh, what, what did you do? Did you interview anybody? Yes, while I was in there, um, I then brought Leanna into the same room, um, his wife at the time, and interviewed her. And after that, after you conducted that interview, uh, you saw several times the defendant requested to talk with uh, his wife. Did you allow them to speak in that interview room? I did. And was that interview uh, room still being recorded when you uh, allowed the defendant to come in there? It was. We never stopped the interview after speaking with Leanna, and the video continued. So when the defendant comes back into the room, you allow him to come back in there and talk to her. Uh, is this after he's been told he's going to be arrested? That's correct. And it's about an hour and 15 minutes later while he's been sitting back there in the holding cell? That's correct. Detective, I'm going to show you what a mark for identification purposes is safety is at 428. Do you recognize State's Exhibit 428? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. And how do you recognize it? Once again, the, the interviews are um, saved to a server. I then burn a CD or DVD, actually, I'm sorry, from the server. Um, copy goes to evidence, copy goes to the DA, and a copy goes to us. That's the copy that I made for the case file. Okay, and did you review this video? I did. Okay, and this is a very accurate recording of uh, the defendant and his wife in that interview room uh, for about 42 minutes or so. Uh, after he had been in a holding cell after being told he's going to be arrested. That's correct. Your, your Honor, I would tender State's Exhibit 428. No, okay. Admitted. And Your Honor, I've already got preloaded permission to publish. You may. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and Your Honor, I'm sorry. Yes. I do have transcripts to, to hand out as well as this. Already been provided to. Uh, defense counsel as well. Mr. Perdue will help.
no different from Rick's little boy sneaking out.
I don't know. I 
We'll make sure we're okay, because she's so worried about you. You know how dramatic she is? What do you think she said? What do you think she said about you? What she said that she said she thought you were going to go to Yeah. We don't care about too much. 
much, but I have had a couple of people complain about but I may always have like one person on the phone for another person. What's the next step? Is it, I'm sorry? What are the next steps? Next steps will be, um, you will be taken to the gym tonight. I will sit down with the judge um, and get the specifics of the and anything like that. There may be more charges added on. Like I said, I'm going to go over to my app. Okay. So, um, you'll be taken to Cobb County Adult Detention Center. Go home and I'll be booked in. Okay. And then we'll wait for me to finish up the board and talk to the judge and that. Well, the magistrate judge, right, okay. Um, so I actually talked to the judge um, on video conference, and we'll discuss your work, and then he'll put the bond that he thinks is appropriate. Okay. okay. And then once the bond is placed, um, they will tell you in the jail what your bond is. Okay. Okay. If there is one credit, um, sometimes it's not. And if there is no bond granted, then 30 days out, um, 30 days will go through what's called for the cause here. And during the public cause hearing, uh, I'll sit down and give evidence before the court, and then uh, your defense attorney will get his opportunity to, uh, to speak with me or to ask for evidence for me. No, I have no telephone number for her at all. Unless he put a number of my phone number, but you know. No, it's just a little bit. I understand. You just need to add it. I just need to go to the Just go to the treehouse. Ask to see to you. Okay. What's your last name? Likely. Okay. Um, you know, you don't have to tell her anything about the legality of everything. Just say, I'll just let her know that. So he's not going to come in. He's not going to be here for it. What does that mean for the job, though? I don't know. That's what we're waiting for. We're going to have a work space, so it's up to them. You know, you really don't know. But I mean, we'll see what happens. You know? Listen, if something happens, we have places to go. Okay? Uh, I'll let Joe know. 
George Law. Be very careful in your reading uh, any of your activities. Um, I see you can, as I've said before, I'll say again, anything that you can think of to get into the space anyway, don't do it. And finally, have a very pleasant weekend. We will see you Monday morning, 8.30. Good evening. Exhibit 429, and I will also write on this. Um, I can't remember exactly what the language was last time. Uh, Maybe Brian has it. For, for purposes, for use to the court room number. Oh, I've got a purpose. Oh, I've got a purpose. And the first one was 428, Brian? 427. 427. Anything else, Mr. Pepper? Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. We're in recess until 8.30 Monday morning. Everyone have a good weekend. Mm -hmm.